What's up, my friends? We have some great attacks today for the Town Hall 9 level. Let's look at it here. Our P.E.K.K.A.'s back. But first, um, let's do um, a couple uh, replays as well. We are going to do some defensive replays on my base. There it is. This guy, he is bringing in the P.E.K.K.A.'s. So, P.E.K.K.A.'s at the Town Hall 10 level max P.E.K.K.A.'s for this base. Actually, not a bad idea. What happened was he just didn't funnel quite properly because here, look, this base design um, it is very tricky because those golems will actually go around the base instead of to the core. So he brought in the Pekkas to change it up. And as you can tell, the attack just did not go well. He has low heroes, but still, he has that Grand Ward, and he should have gotten one star, but he didn't. The Pekkas down to the south, look at them. They are just being stuck right uh, on the wall, not going to get any action going on. And those two single target infernos on my side are just causing complete destruction. And there you have it. Not a good attack at all. Interesting fact, guys. I was just checking out the other day. I want to provide some kind of the uh, I don't know, just interesting things here and there. But in 2012, speaking of money, as far as Clash of Clans, today they make about $5 million per day. Isn't that crazy? Um, so back in 2012 when the game first launched, that year they brought in about $101 million. Uh, Clash of Clans did through the in-app purchases, which is crazy. That is huge. Um, insanity. And then in 2013, it jumped up to $892 million, which is astonishing. And then the biggest year that they ever had was in 2014. Um, well, when the, the latest stats, I, haven't, I don't know about 2015 yet, but in 2014, they brought in one8 billion dollars which amounts to about five million per day it's probably increased from that um for sure so it's right around that mark but anyways thought that it was pretty crazy clash of clans bringing in tons of money um so it's pretty exciting hopefully they'll do some cool stuff with that money give us a great quality game here's another pekka attack from a town hall 11 i kind of like it a lot um the pekka's are used because those that uh, eagle artillery really takes down the golem so quickly. Pekkas are kind of maybe the new thing. He does barely get the two star here, but of course, if they update the uh, the new Valkyries and change that, um, then it would change it up a little. Valkyries I would totally use all the time now; they're so powerful. But if you want to some, try something new, Pekkas. You know, they have been around for a long time, and I don't see a lot of Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 players use them that much. But here, he did barely get the two stars. So, uh, could the attack have been better? Yes, uh, just a little bit. The funnel was actually nice, though, into the core of the base. But, you know, luckily, he barely, he actually just barely got this 50% at the end here. So, um, you know, Pekka's, uh, they're not the greatest at, for sure at all. But that's okay. Uh, no big deal. Uh, they have a purpose, and I think the main purpose for Pekkas are depending on the, the base layout, um, especially with this new Eagle artillery so powerful on Golems. You know, the Pekkas are kind of the tanking units, plus they have the offensive power. So just want to bring you a couple of attacks there from the Town Hall 10 level and Town Hall 11 using some Pekkas, those beasty, huge tanking mammoth units. Anyway, so that is it. Again, I'm still just blown away. I'm sure you've probably purchased stuff through the in-app purchase. I've, I bought, I had a gift card, so I used 20 bucks one time uh, for my gift card on some gems. Man, that's about it. The rest I just kind of gained through, um, uh, gained through uh, just getting bushes, gem boxes. I had a great gem box for getting free gem boxes. Quicker video, I'll link that as well. Uh, here is going to be my attack, my three-star attack, and it's a big fail. The reason being, I was going to come in from the north because I thought the Valkyries would actually hit both of the Inferno Towers. Um, but what ended up happening was they went to the other units first, and the Inferno Towers just destroyed my Valkyries. If I'd come from one side or the other, I would have taken down one of the Valkyries quicker. I mean, the, the Inferno Towers quicker, 
and I think I would have been able to three star the base, but the king went off to the side. That did not go well at all, and it just kind of fizzled out. Um, could not get that three star. I've three starred harder bases than this in the past. I've showed you some of those, but you know, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. I did learn, I knew you have to take out the Inferno Towers very quickly, but anyways, there's a couple attacks for this war. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and I will see you next time. Halo.